you just got one of these terminal kits because you need to repair some existing terminals or add some new ones. I'm gonna show you what's in this kit and how to use it. These are ring terminals. They're held in place by a fastener that passes through the middle. There are also these fork terminals, which are a similar idea, but you can install them without taking the whole fastener out, which is kind of nice sometimes. We also have male and female spade connectors and butt connectors, which are used to join wires end to end. Now, before you go any further, you need to figure out what size wire you're working with. This is some 16 gauge wire we have as a sample. And I know that because it says it on it, most wire is marked, but if it's not, you'll have to go for best fit. Now moving over to the terminals in the kit, they're organized red, yellow, blue to correspond with a range of wire sizes. Now you could memorize those or just look on the back of the terminal. It says right on it in tiny numbers. So we got a terminal that matches our gauge of wire and this is where the crimping pliers come into play. Next, you're going to want to use the wire stripper, to match up your gauge Strip the wire insulation away to expose the copper strands. If you cut using the right size, you should have a nice clean edge. No breaks in the copper strands. That's a bit much for me, so I'll trim it back. Give it a quick twist before moving on. Next, we're gonna size the copper strands for the terminal. You want just a little bit of stick out. So we've got a red terminal. We're gonna match it up with the red jaws and the crimping pliers and leave just a little space at the ends. Give it a good squeeze. And there's a nice crimp. You'll see a bell mouth at the ends, strong marks on both sides, a little bit of copper sticking out. And if you give it a pull, it shouldn't move at all. 